All right, this is um, the second part of a how to write an English essay video. Okay, so what I want you to look at now is just that's the brainstorm we've done and then that's the essay question, which I had been referring to in the last video. So really what you need to do is just break the question down a bit and you probably should have done this before the brainstorm. So I'm just kind of backtracking a little bit. So the first thing is um, what is Wordsworth saying about nature? And that's what we did in the previous video where we did a bit of brainstorming and said, okay, so he's telling us that it's beautiful, it's free, and that it makes people happy. The second question you need to ask yourself is um, what poetic techniques is he using to express these feelings about nature? And that also um, was what we put up in our brainstorm in the last video. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to type out the three main ideas because these are going to form my lines of argument. So nature is beautiful. Nature makes people happy. And nature is free. And I'd already identified the different um, techniques that uh, William Wordsworth had been using to express these ideas. And it's really important that in an English essay you do identify those um, poetic techniques or narrative techniques because we're really trying to get to the guts of how the composer makes meaning in the text. So what techniques are they using to make meaning? All right, what I want to show you now is a little trick called nominalization. And this is important to make your um, essay have that much more um, sophisticated academic voice. The essays in English are objective. Okay, so what I've written there is nominalization is basically making a noun phrase out of a verb phrase. And just so that you know, we can sometimes forget this, that a noun is a thing and in an English essay it's usually an abstract noun. So it's a concept. It's like love, belonging, freedom, acceptance. And the examples I've put of love and despair there. And a verb, you probably all know this, is a doing word. So it's an action. Okay, so if you look at the um, example up here, nature is beautiful. What I'm doing is I'm just highlighting the word beautiful and I'm showing you that this isn't a noun, it's actually an adjective. So nominalization, you can actually change adjectives or verbs into noun, nouns. So beauty is the noun form of beautiful. So we're going to rewrite the sentence as, or the phrase as, the beauty of nature instead of saying nature is beautiful. So have a look at the second example. The main idea of that sentence is um, happy, that nature makes people happy. So happy is an adjective and we change it to the noun which is happiness. And the phrase becomes the happiness that nature brings. And the final one is nature is free. So free is an adjective, we use it to describe things or people. And so the noun form of free is freedom. So we've got the freedom of nature. So they are going to become the beginnings of my um, lines of argument. See how they're phrases, they're not complete sentences. The beauty of nature, that's not a complete sentence. So we have to work on that and build it into a full sentence. But those three things are going to be my lines of argument for this essay. And that's how you create your lines of argument.